Okey, sudah tu kelar. Tak boleh masuk sebab mak saya dah mandi. Jadi Rasulullah pula menjawab dia, "Wan saya sedang mandi, jadi tak ada salah saya masuk pun tak jadi masalah." So, Pada itu tetap uh, dengan pendirian dia dia tak benarkan juga Rasulullah masuk. Jadi Rasulullah boleh naik marah. Cuma semua ini bercanggah dengan sifat ketuhanan Tuhan boleh marah dan Tuhan pula tak tahu yang Ah, mak dia tu meletakkan dia sebagai penjaga dia di situ apa tak di situ dia bercakap dengan sifat ketuhanan dengan Tuhan pula cepat marah lalu penggal kepala dia ha, jadi cerita ni sebenarnya untuk mencemarkan ah, agama ini pula jadi apakah bukti untuk ah, cerita yang sebenarnya bukan ada dalam jurum mulai nyana kamanda mengatakan bahawa Lord Binayaga ini diturunkan dari huruf Om. Ada kitab dia bernama Kanda Purana. Kalau uh, tapi dalam bahasa Tamil lah. Kalau ada friend yang boleh baca bahasa Tamil boleh baca kat situ. Ada di situ. Jadi uh, memang ada bukti lah uh, untuk cerita yang sebenar. Dan cerita ini pula sama untuk akal. Sehingga kan seperti uh, kata saudari tadi, bapa sendiri tidak pula mengenal anak dia. Dan Tuhan itu satu di mana ada sifat family di situ Tuhan tak ada family, sifat tak ada family Sewa menjelma sebagai binayaga dalam bentuk bunyi Sewa menjelma sebagai buka dalam bentuk cahaya Dan sewa sebagai aman Jadi mana boleh ada kisah Wan dia mandi dan anak pula boleh berjaga <laughs> Jadi cerita itu tak betul lah Very good question lah At least uh, Saudara Ahli ialah Very good Thank you for your kind question uh, One last question For our brother Last question Ya yeah? Boleh buka saya lagi uh, Hello uh, My name is Eric from I'm from MNU Saya berjaya The question is for our session speaker. Right. If you could come, because Abdul John uh, chapter three verse nineteen, I got this from back there. This is in Indonesian. Setiap orang yang lahir di dari Allah tidak berbuat dosa lagi sebab benih lagi tetap ada di dalam. Oh, uh, baik. Can you just mention the uh, text? And then your question is Make it short It's just one word Okay Setiap orang yang lagi dari Allah Kita berbuat dosa lagi Sebab benda ini lagi Tetap ada di dalam dia Dan dia tidak dapat berbuat dosa Kerana dia lagi dari Allah Daripada sini kita nampak yang Kristian siapa yang beli dalam Jesus Dia akan Dia tak akan buat dosa Pasal Jesus akan untuk dia punya dosa So Kalau example Kalau macam saya beri kat sebuah Kalau saya Christian uh, Saya beli barang yang harga dia Total RM190 Masa saya nampak Balance yang saya dapat tu Ada extra RM1 Saya kata oh, Saya tak payah bagi tu Jadi saya boleh Pain untuk RM1 uh, So kalau Mungkin kalau RM10 Okay Jadi saya boleh pain untuk RM1 Kalau dapat extra RM10 Kalau RM100 pun Saya boleh bagi alasan alas yang sama So saya nak tahu Dia punya transaction Ni mana Saya nak tanya Persen tu boleh buat sin dengan tak sin Kalau saya Christian Mana tak saya yang akan menunjukkan saya buat sin Faham tak? I think he's a philosopher lah If you can't catch his question I think what they're trying is Dead, clean, sin like If you can cheat And, and one cent is alright You cheat one last one in other dollar Then it's not alright Eh? And yeah, so do you think it's a parallel to, to how much sin is still like? Sin? Okay. I think in uh, what, which limit? Yeah, uh, what, what limit can you say is sin? Okay, sin. actually there's another part in the Bible which says I tell you why God's passing my entire mark and not 50 mark <laughs> He said even if you break one law uh, of commandment uh, It's as good as having broken all the commandments Hello, you know, kita tak ikut satu bah Kalau aturan kita pun telah gagal mencapai tahap Tuhan So there's no such thing as small sin, big sin 
But the wonderful thing about this is, is, is you know, uh, if you let God take over, take, 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 take over us and let Jesus be our Savior. Not that we would so suddenly overnight become Superman, you know, who are no sin anymore, you know, anything also, temptation, I won't be saved. We are still weak, and actually it's a daily struggle. So that's why after we birth, there's this process called sanctification. We allow the Holy Spirit of God to slowly change us inside. It's like you're born, in, you're born again, you're born as a what, as an adult? No, you're born as a baby. And then you grow up, isn't it? In, in, in the process, you learn things and so on and all that. Born again is like that. When you're born again, probably there are a lot of bad habits and all that which are still in your life. Then, the, the Bible describes God as like a, a gardener who prunes, you know, they, they trim off the, the, the branches which are not so full and all that, so that you are continuing out and what's good will become more and more and more better. So it's a process. Uh, to change a person from a, a, a person who is a, a sinner to someone who is more and more like God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Today I pray and become Christian and more and more sin and more 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 countries, atheistic countries, in, I don't know whether it's Russia or, or, or China at that time, they thought that production can increase if we go and make people work non-stop. La. You fix it, you produce so much, you work them seven days non-stop. They and they find actually productivity drop <coughs> when, when they do that. So they have to back to six days work and one day strength and they find productivity. Personally, in my own life, I follow the several rules. Even when I was a student, uh, if tomorrow is exam Monday, Someday I, I still don't study on you know. I'll, I'll take it rest and go fishing or read, you know, read books which I enjoy, not my school books and all that. 
and and not honor that. I half the time other students have to study because I was uh, president of the Pusatan uh, Christian Party and so on. I was super fresh student, so I didn't do first year, never study first year of theology. So I went to second year. And I obey God, do study on Sunday, and you know, I finish all my work in six days, and yet I turn up top of the class, you know, for two years. And I stay on and become you know, lecturer and then professor and all that. So I, 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 I think God knows what he's doing and he's given the example. Uh. Second question is about Jesus. Now when Jesus came down again uh, from God and then became man, uh, you read John's Gospel, he said that you know, he was right there in the city of God. So it was only taking on human form for a limited period. And then he wants to show us what a perfect man uh, would be if he was to walk on this earth. Uh, what would he do? How would he worship God? You know, how, how would a perfect man live his life with it? He would pray, he would spend time with God and all that. So that's why he was showing us an example by his life. And one of the limitations that he took on human form is he limited his knowledge just like when he was a human being. Uh, he cannot walk through walls and things. God is omnipresent, you know, supposed to be everywhere at the same time. You know. He purposely limited himself. So he cannot be at all places at all times when he was on earth as a human being. But once he's ascended, you know, and he's in the spirit form no longer in the human form, he can be at all places at, at all times of it. So those were limitations which he took upon himself when he took on human form. Limitations to his physical presence, limited limitations to even, you know, uh, what he, he knows. And one of the things he said frankly is, don't try to guess when I'm coming back again. Because in my present form, even I don't know. Only the Father knows the thing. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope this question will address uh, the speakers. Biasanya kita ni ya, minda manusia ni lah, right? 
dia biasanya boleh apa uh, macam ni lah kan kita dengar drama okay, dalam 10 minit saja selepas itu ok saya tanya sedari saya bukan nak bandingkan berceramah lah daripada ceramah-ceramah tadi saya rasa yang ada slide tadi lebih nampak kan saya bukan nak bercerama saya bukan bandingkan panel lah cara penampak saya bukan kan ok saya bawa slide bila saya menerangkan uh, pampai saya tadi Apabila ada slide Walaupun bahasa saya itu tak Mungkinlah tak, tak dapat Menyampaikan apa yang saya mau sampaikan Dengan sepenuhnya Slide itu membantu Dan Dia ada visual Sebab itu orang hidup percaya Tuhan itu uh, Something very abstract Kita tak boleh bandingkan Tuhan dengan 